Okay, hi guys, I'm back with another video and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to reduce your CPU temperatures. Quite a few of you guys have been commenting on my video and saying how do I reduce my CPU temperatures because their laptop is running at uh, high 80s to 90 and mine is running at uh, 60, 60 and 70 Celsius. Okay, let me say this. Every gaming laptop has every gaming laptop has a base and a boost clock for the CPU. The base clock will be something like 2.60 gigahertz. The boost clock will be something like 4.20. Right now mine is running at its base clock. Top top left you can see the CPU temperatures. It's sitting at 68 Celsius right now. It's hovering about 65, 68. That's very cool. And my CPU is locked at its base clock. Now I'm going to unlock my CPU and let it run at its boost clock. It will go up to about 4.20 GHz. The temperatures will go up a little bit as well. And now the CPU is unlocked. You can see the CPU clock went up to about 4.1 GHz. And the CPU temperatures went up to 80, 83. And yeah, this is the boost clock. Every gaming laptop has these two cycles. Okay, so I'm going to lock it back to the base clock. Keep an eye on the, the CPU clock and the CPU temperature. Okay, I'm going to lock it back to the, the base clock. Boom. CPU, CPU clock went down to 2.60. Temperatures dropped to 65, 67. Back where we were, you know? And I'm going to show you guys how to how to lock your CPU to the base clock uh, to help reduce the temperatures. And just to let you guys know, it for most games you won't see a difference in FPS. In most games you won't see a difference in FPS when you when you lock your CPU to base clock. But there will be like one or two games that's like very CPU heavy, very CPU dependent that will see a difference. For me, for example, like Far Cry 4, Far Cry 4 is very CPU dependent. When my CPU is locked at its base clock, it runs at about 70, 80 FPS. When it's unlocked, it runs at about 130, I think. 130, 140, so. And yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to show you how to lock your CPU to the, ba to the base clock. To help reduce the temperatures, and yeah. Let me turn on my screen brightness a little bit, so... So you can see the words on my screen somewhat because it's so my words are so tiny. <laughs> the words are so tiny on camera. Okay, so first thing you're gonna go to your you're gonna click your your battery icon, right click, boom, click power options, power options, and in the top left, you're going to click create a power plan. In the create a power plan, you're going to click high performance. The power plant name, you can name it anything you want. You can just name it anything you want. I'm going to name this uh, Plan 1. You can just name it anything you want. Click Next. Turn off Display, you can set that to Never. I always set it to Never. And hit Create. And after you click Create, let me turn on the brightness. After you click Create, the power plant you just created, you're going to you're going to click on change power plant settings for the same plan you just created. Change power plant settings. Boom. You're going to go to change advanced power settings. Boom. And then you're going to, you're going to scroll to the bottom and then you're going to see the part that says processor power management. Processor power management. You're going to drop that down. You're going to see the, the first one under this will be minimum power, power state. You're going to you're going to drop down minimum power state and you'll see two things. You'll see battery and you'll see plugged in. Battery will be at five percent, battery at battery will be at five percent, plugged in will be at one hundred percent. And battery, you're going to click on battery, you're going to type the number ninety nine 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 and click apply and click on the part that says plugged in. Change it from one hundred to 99 as well. Apply. Wait, you're not done yet. 
you're going to go down to the part that says maximum power stage boom drop it down in this one on battery you're going to see 100% for battery and plug-in will be at 100% as well on battery you're going to change it to 99 nine nine click apply the part that says plugged in again nine nine boom and you're done and to see your cpu to see your cpu gigahertz right now just go to your task manager and you can see your cpu is now running at its base clock but if i unlock it it goes up to 3.80 gigahertz if i lock it back it goes down to 2.40 sitting right now. So yeah. So when you're playing your game, just go in your game. And right now the CPU is unlocked. And yeah, the CPU is unlocked right now. And when you're in your game, you can just go to your power settings. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on the plan you just made. Plan 1. Boom. And now you're running at, uh, let me turn up the brightness a little bit. Now you're running at uh, base clock. You can see it now. Base clock. Base clock. I'm going to unlock it again. Boom. Boost clock. Boost clock. This is boost clock. And this is base clock. Let's go back to base clock. Boom. Z. That's how it works. So yeah, don't want to make this video too long. Quite a few of you guys have been asking how do I release my CPU TAMs. And yeah, this is totally safe. You don't have to use any weird third party software to alter the voltage. You know, because those things are, uh, those softwares that alter like the hardcore voltage, it's, it's, it's possible those things could, could, could maybe, could maybe, uh, could maybe mess with the voltage in a way that it could burn up your laptop or whatever you know but this is totally safe this is just a power plan i've been using this for years i bought my acer nitro about three years ago and i do this every time because i hate seeing my cpu running at at mid high 80s and and uh and uh early 90s you know uh I, I don't like to see my CPU running at uh, 91, 92, 95 Celsius. And yeah, also to let you guys know, if you haven't cleaned your fans or replaced your thermal paste, uh, I'd suggest that you do so because over time dust build up in your fans and your thermal paste needs to be changed and stuff to, to, to help maintain the, 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 the temperatures. I'm using the Arctic MX-6 thermal paste. I took it apart and cleaned the 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 cleaned the fans and reduced the the, the the thermal paste myself. I'm going to show you the Arctic MX uh, six I'm using. Uh, one second. Let me find it. Arctic MX six. Okay, this is it. Arctic MX six. This is the one that's on that's that's inside my laptop right now. I repasted. Uh, how long did I repaste it? Yeah, I think it was about. Uh, how long was it? I think it was about four or five months ago. I repasted. It. You know, I need to go inside and check the fans because I haven't been inside there in a in a, in a few months now. <laughs> I I haven't been inside there for about six months now. <laughs> you know, so I'm going to check it and make sure that the vents and everything are cleaned. And yeah, this is the thermal paste I'm using. This is one of the newest thermal paste on the market right now. The Arctic MX-6. Uh, Very good thermal paste. Before, I was using the Arctic MX-4. I was using the Arctic MX-4 and then I switched to the 6. And the 6 was like... The Arctic MX-6 runs about... Uh, it runs about 6 to, what was it, 6 to 8 degrees cooler than the Arctic MX-4. That's how much of a difference it makes. So, yeah, you can order this on Amazon. And uh, if you don't know how to replace your thermal paste, uh, uh, try to get someone who knows what they're doing and let them replace it for you. And, yeah, this is how I keep my temperatures under, under control. 
And yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, guys.